Hello again, I am Blunty. It's been a couple of months since my last video relating to the subject of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. So it's probably time to do another one because you guys seem to enjoy it when I talk about My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And um, for some reason you enjoy it when I emphasize the word magic as well in various ways. It kind of uh, makes a few of you out there laugh for some bewildering reason, which is always a good thing. You know, laughing for small reasons is, is part of what makes life fantastic or magic if you will and a special hello to the brony haters who have happened upon this video somehow um why are you here why have you chosen to watch this video the title clearly indicates it's about my little pony friendship is magic and the thumbnail is more than likely a picture of these cartoon ponies that you're always complaining about having shoved down your throats. And that's kind of the subject of this video. See, in the last video, I mercilessly attacked and ridiculed the brony haters out there. And uh, rightly so, if you go watch that video, it makes perfect sense. It's a very logical argument against their idiotic behavior. But more than a few of them actually found their way to that video and poured further hatred on the flames of their hatred bonfire because people out there like a cartoon that they don't like very much and they think someone else shouldn't watch that cartoon because that cartoon is not made for the demographic that those, that other person is and that's that's some sort of crime apparently this is this is their reasoning <laughs> hey 30 year old man you're not allowed to watch that cartoon it was made with children in mind you shouldn't be enjoying it enjoying it is wrong for you you should not be deriving f enjoyment and happiness from that cartoon because it wasn't meant to give you happiness in the first place you were you were going against the very nature of the universe if you like a cartoon that wasn't made for you which is what their argument basically boils down to they believe that if a form of entertainment wasn't specifically made for you precisely you should not be allowed to enjoy it or share that enjoyment with other people who enjoy it. Yeah, it's retarded in a word. Completely and utterly, monumentally, galactically retarded. Now, the main complaint, the main defense of this, this haterdom that these brony haters have exhibited as left as evidenced by the comments they left on my previous video was about how they hate that bronies out there are shoving their fanship down their throat and it's it's unfair that they can accidentally see a picture of a cartoon pony online when in places they're not expecting to see a picture of a cartoon pony that ruins their day that that destroys their fragile mental state they can never recover from accidentally seeing a picture of a pony and it's 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 it's, it's, it's an attack on their very lifestyle of anti bronyism and it is with a complete lack of self-awareness that these people are complaining about this brunidom being shoved down their throats when they have watched a video about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And it's clearly in the title. It's clearly in the thumbnail. There is no possible way they could have accidentally watched this video about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. They sought it out. They went there. They saw it. Yeah, that's a video about bronies and I hate bronies so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna scream about how much I hate bronies so the behavior of these people is very much like if you're walking down the street and you see a poster for a movie on the side of a bus stop for example and you then stand next to that poster and everybody who walks by you scream at them this is a stupid movie I hate this movie this movie is for idiots only homosexuals like this movie if you like this movie you're a homosexual you shouldn't even even look at this poster it's so stupid I was just walking down the street and I saw this poster of this this hateful stupid movie and I couldn't avoid seeing it because I was just trying to walk down the street and then this poster was here on the side of the bus stop and I just have to sit here and scream about how ruined my life is because I accidentally saw this poster of a movie I don't like with absolutely zero self-awareness that they have just become the thing that they are complaining about. They're angry because they've accidentally seen a picture of a, post a pony somewhere they didn't expect it. And that is shoving the fanship down their throats and they don't like that very much. And so their only logical response to that in their, in their limited little capacity brains is to go and shove their hatred down other people's throats. You shoved a picture of a pony down my throat, so I'm going to go to every brony-related video I can find and shove the word fag down your throat and, and call you and, and call you a, a kitty fiddler. You're a pedophile because you like a cartoon. You are a pedophile!
pedophile because you like this cartoon. Now here's a fun little fact. Watching or even talking about a cartoon made for children as an adult cannot magically turn someone into a pedophile. It cannot magically turn you gay if you like a cartoon that's made for girls and you happen to be a previously heterosexual man. Now you can't go, oh, I, I that those those pink ponies, <laughs> I like dicks. It doesn't work like that, guys. It you know it's it's like claiming that watching a movie about the history of the aeroplane can somehow automatically turn someone into an aeronautical engineer. <laughs> the psychology. The, the thought processes, the way these tiny little brains of these Brody haters work is absolutely fascinating to me because I'm a fairly cluey guy and I can't quite put myself in their shoes. I can't quite figure out why they would choose to spend their days being such colossal dicks to people who simply like a cartoon that they don't think they're allowed to like. It's, it's bewildering to me. It's colossally unfathomable and I'm fascinated by it I, I these these people are so alien to me their thought processes the way their brains work is so just completely unknown to me I can't help but be fascinated by it and I know I'm giving the brony haters more time in the Sun than they should ever deserve and we should just not feed the trolls and and don't feed the Paris sprites and 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 just let bygones be bygones and, and love and tolerate all and all that sort of stuff. But this, that's, that's rubbish. There are people out there who do deserve to be hated, who do deserve to be mercilessly mocked by people of much greater intelligence. Who, people out there who should point out how ridiculous they are being, how impossibly retarded they, their lives have become. Viewed from a top-down perspective, they're just, just ridiculous, tiny little people. And I can't, st I can't help but look at them every time I come across them. I just, just, that's, that's, it's, it's, it's like seeing a parrot in a cowboy hat. It's just, you, it makes no sense, and you cannot help but look and wonder, how did that parrot get the cowboy hat? How did he put it on? They don't have the manual dexterity. Someone must have put that cowboy hat on that parrot, but he kept it on for some reason. I, don't, I don't understand. Brony haters, you are. Ridiculous people. I'm well aware that I'm a man child, by the way. I've always liked cartoons. There, I didn't like cartoons as a kid, and then there was a gap when I was a grown up and an adult, and I was worried about insurance payments and how I was gonna pay the bills and and having to go to work and put on a tie and all that sort of stuff. And then, oh, hey, cartoons. Oh, cartoons are actually pretty good. I should have never stopped watching cartoons. No, I've watched cartoons my entire life. It's part of who I am. It's part of my mentality, my psychology. I enjoy that escapism. That cartoons provide whether they're made for kids or, or teenagers or adults even there are some very very good cartoons out there at the moment i see no reason to mock someone just because they like watching entertainment that is is drawn or rendered rather than filmed because it's all the same basic thing basically the the medium the presentation shouldn't matter what matters is what you get out of it what the either blind enjoyment or or you relate to one of the characters and it helps wrap your head around a problem you're having in your own life it helps frame something else for you or maybe you're just sitting on the couch shoving m&ms into your mouth and watching it because it has pretty colors and lovely music and funny things happen and it shouldn't matter at all no one should be angry at anybody else for just simply enjoying something that is supposed to be enjoyed <sighs> but that's that's i'm done I, I could probably rant for hours on <laughs> this ridiculous subject and maybe in, in another month or two i'll make another video about another aspect of the bronydom but for now that's that's it i'm out of here thanks for watching i am bloody i will catch you next time <sighs> brony on birds.